There isn't much difference between Jews and Muslims. Once they come together, sit down and listen to each other, all commonalities come to surface. We have to understand that we have common issues in our communities, that we can work together to improve our school, we can work together for immigration reform, and that these are issues of shared concern that are things we feel very passionately about. Rabbi Rachel Khan Troster believes that Jews and Muslims should respect one another and need to cooperate for the sake of peace. Imam Abdullah Antepli promotes mutual work between Jewish and Muslim students at Duke University. It was the Jewish community on the campus who helped us build a halal kitchen because they already established a kosher kitchen. When we were negotiating our dietary restrictions, our prayer regulations, looking for a space for Muslim community to congregate, only Jewish community understood us because the religious, cultural, spiritual needs are very, very similar. And of course, a good relationship begins with dialogue. We are a group of Turkish Muslims from the Amity School and uh, Jewish Americans from the Kings Bay Y Cultural Center. We get together like every two weeks or so to explore our uh, commonalities and differences and to get to know each other. Hayrun Nisa Kalaj is a student at Brooklyn Amity School and a member of the Young Peace Builders Club. We've had uh, several meetings. We went on a trip to Boston together. Uh, they've, uh, we have went to a Turkish family's house and ate dinner. We've also went to a Jewish family's house and we celebrated Hanukkah. Their efforts were highlighted in local newspapers. Yeah, so we come together to talk about our commonalities, to get to know each other and not hate each other, to love each other, because that's our main value, I believe. Only in those kind of meaningful friendships that the beautiful ethical moral messages of these both Abrahamic traditions, the message of peace, the message of living together, the culture of coexistence comes together. So as you can see, when Jews and Muslims come together, sit down and have a dialogue, it's a mutually beneficial experience for all. For Urban News, I'm Fatih Shahin.